Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, have you noticed how in the last two or three days the government is now scrambling? They are doing every opportunistic um, I can't say the H-A-T word, but they're doing the H-A-T at everything associated to anything with Donald Trump. Okay, I'm going to go there. This today, I've got to do a little disclaimer. This video is being done in my own personal views. This is my own personal opinion. Okay, don't sue me for saying what I feel is accurate here based on what she tells me as well. All right, let's get to it. Today, I'm sitting here watching the governments around the world scrambling. Now, you've got to look at the ones who are scrambling because not everyone's scrambling. There's a few out there really happy that Trump has now been elected. Ask yourself why. Research what will be the benefit of a Trump administration in Sweden. Just to give you a hint okay so let's go into it let's go back in time to four years ago actually let's go back five years ago people were living in 2019 pretty ignorant of what the government was doing back then okay we knew that we were starting to ascend and starting to wake up spiritually. We knew that there was all these psychic abilities that we could do. Yes, but a lot of us didn't realize how it worked through science. Now, remember when COVID started, the first thing they said was trust the science. So let's have a look at some science and see what they were start trying to stop us doing rather than saving us okay and remember this is in my own personal opinion first of all i see auras they emit out of us it's an energy field that emits out of us and it's all the different colors of the rainbow okay i even went to my local hardware store and i got all the color charts so I used to be able to tell people what their auras were, what color they are, and what that color meant. I don't do that anymore because since 2020, a lot of people are now losing their auras. So the first thing, what did the government say to us? We must stay 1.5 meters away from each other now isn't it ironic that that's how far i see the colors span in auras so our auric field is 1.5 meters which is in some countries that's five or six feet if you're not using metric systems so when we look back what was the real reason why they did not want us standing next to each other if I sneeze today at you, the little particles that come out in my sneeze, do they instantly stop at 1.5 meters? No, they can travel for miles, kilometers. Okay, so now that we know that the 1.5 meter did not stop any sort of virus transmission, why do you think the government wanted to impose it the same time that they stopped us going out into the sunlight now radiation from the sun sure it gives us vitamin d but are you aware that it activates the crystallization within our heads that some people call the pineal gland huh so when we don't go out into the sun we don't get the radiation that activates the electromagnetic forces of our energy. Huh. So how did the sun impact us getting a virus? I'll wait for an answer because there is none. So why did they stop us going out? Remember when they said you can't go to the park? Park seats had tape all over them because you weren't allowed to sit down. 
You weren't allowed to sit in the park. You weren't allowed to go into your backyard. Down in Victoria, Australia, they were not allowed in their backyards for over a year. So they're inside not getting any of their electromagnetic strength from the sun. Huh. Same time that the auras stopped, right? So now, as we come to forward to 2024, oh my gosh, look at how much alien disclosure the CIA in America is now starting to make. <clears throat> Isn't it ironic that aliens are telepathic beings that communicate on a higher frequency whereby they talk and communicate because of the frequency that they are on. So do you think it's any it's any irony that the government had to shut down 7.8 billion people so we couldn't talk back or receive their messages? Come on, guys, please start to wake up because here comes Donald Trump as the next US president. What's this so important about? Because in my own opinion, remember today I'm just viewing my own free speech before Australian government locks us all down in a few weeks because they've just stopped that free speech bell. Isn't that ironic? They don't want us telling the truth, so I've got to get this out there now. So let's have a look at what Trump's bringing in. Elon Musk. Now, let's have a look at what's the severity or the importance of why Elon Musk is now coming into office. One, he's now got his robots that use, oh, isn't it ironic? They use telepathy to communicate. Now, when you do a Google, now I've just done a Google of Elon Musk job with Trump. Well, we're going to get that one soon. But if you Google Elon Musk telepathy, Musk is hinting at a future where Neuralink could enable superhuman abilities like telepathic communication. So if he does bring out these chips in the head, which I'm hearing don't get it, by the way, me and my own personal opinion, but if he puts these chips into people's heads, we all start communicating together with anything else out there. Do, 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 no, 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 friends. Do you think the government wants 7.8 billion people? Why am I saying 7.8? Because there is about 200 million people out there, the governments, the elitists, and all these other ones out there who already know all this is happening. So I'm going to bring that down to about 7.8 billion, right? Can you imagine if someone in, oh, I don't know, Afghanistan, Iran, Israel, or Beirut, Can you imagine if they're starting to talk to everybody else? Do, 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 do. And now imagine if that's going straight to, I don't know, some activist in the UK at the moment. So let's have a look now. <laughs> I wish I had those, that witchy little gr the laugh. <laughs> What's the biggest fear here of the government? They lose control. So... Do we know that the aliens are already here? I've been seeing aliens for years. Why do you think I wear my space balls a t-shirt t-shirt for? Okay. I know we have interplanetary craft. Okay. I go outside and every night and I'm talking to them. Hello, is anybody out there? Come on down, I mean you no harm. They come down if you're on the right vibration. So the more we raise up our vibration... Guess what happens? Not only do we become more psychic, but we now access this higher um, te telepathic free way of information. Zip, 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 where we are now hearing what's going on from other planets. Believe me, this is already true. I'm not going to deny and I'm not going to say it, but there are certain psychics out there already doing this stuff. The government can't have it. So I should say the governments of old 
the ones that start with the D that have been running the shop for the last 12 years. Okay, they don't want us being on their same playing level learning how to use our own psychic abilities. Why do you think they're trying to shut us down so much? And then you've got to look at why does Trump now want to get rid of fluoride out of water systems? Which, by the way, if you research the news, because the news is back in the D's who are paying them, the first thing that we hear with fluoride, which is going into my new book, Outer Consciousness Explained, oh boy, is it the right time to get that in print? But what does fluoride do? Not only does it lower your IQ, it also puts other heavy metals into our body, which affects our brain, so it dumbs us down, lowering our IQ, gives us dementia and all these other diseases and illnesses. But it also affects our pineal gland, which is that crystallization, which gives us psychic abilities. So if if RF, if Bobby Kennedy stops taking the fluoride and, and he stops the fluoridation in water, all these people are going to start waking up. So now let's throw a real spanner in the works. Why do you think there's so many woke people now? All these transgenders, him, they, my, me, my, they, it. Why do you think there's so many of that now happening? Why do you think there's so many people now doing their little setting up the cameras, having their little tanty tantrums at the camera and uploading it to um, TikTok saying that Trump lost? Because these people are the ones the government has created. If you look at my video I've just done, it's called We Make Chaos. What did I call it? Chaos. <laughs> Chaos comes from living in chaos. Have a look at that video. Because the government has created people, in my own personal opinion, I've got to insert that every now and again, but they create these people to have all this drama going on in their head where they don't know who they are, they don't know, oh my God, who are my parents? Because the governments have deliberately separated family over the last 50 years. Look at the school systems. Why do we all sit in, in a classroom inside every day getting um, conditioned by our teachers instead of sitting out in the yards? Look at hospitals 50 years ago. They used to put all the beds out into the sun every day because they knew the benefits of the sun's rays causing us to be healthy and on a higher vibration through the electromagnetic radiation from the sun which gives us a higher vibrational pull, which makes us healthy. So all these people living in the woke society, how much vibration do you think they've got? Yeah, it's like the coyote and the roadrunner where the roadrunner's watching the coyote falling off another cliff. Bang! Because these people are on such a low vibration where they are self-centered, they rely on who they are to be important. That's why they're trying to put their agendas onto everybody else. You must call me this. Well, no, I don't ever have to call you a certain gender or a cat if you identify as a cat because that's your own issue. And I'm going to go there today because it's time that we all started waking up to what's going on. So obviously we're not going to be able to help everybody. And believe me, if 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 you feel because look at me studying, um, I know what is coming from these vaccinations that we all took. Well, <laughs> some of us didn't, okay, a lot of us didn't, but have a look around at the people who did. They're the Karens, going into people's yards, stealing their political signs. The Karens are the ones going into people's yards and destroying the Halloween displays. Do you think they're vaccinated? Do you think that they've now lost the access to the hippocampus, which is giving them the insight to their memories where they can now grow new memories? If you watch me on Facebook, you'll see the video. So let me just show you my Facebook so you can go and scroll away. 
because I love telling people what I share. Okay, so if you go to me on Facebook, here's me, Linda Ray. Go over to me. I have an access. I have an open. I have an open profile. So if you and look at this one, Minister of Health 2021 to Department of Health 2025. That's all we have to show. That's all we have to show because that's true facts that I share. So if we scroll down. We're looking for a lady. Now I'm going to share this again so it comes up as something that's um, close. Not that one. Let me just find it. It's not that one. I'm nearly there, guys. Okay. But I'm going to share this video again so we can all go, huh, with what is really going on with the hippocampus. Okay. Oh, it's above that. They may have already taken it down. They may have already taken it down. Oh, here it is. Here she is. You're looking for this video where she's talking about the hippocampus and vaccination. So I'm going to press the share button right now and I'm going to share that again. So it comes up at the top of my profile. So if you go into my profile, Linda Ray, check out that video. It's got subtitles. You don't even have to have, to have the t volume turned up. So it's talking about the vaccines affecting our nerve cells in the hippocampus. So we are no longer connected. Look how many people now are angry. Look at how many people now are self-deserving. The people speeding, the people running red lights, the as they call them, vaccidents. Tow truck drivers are now calling them vaccidents. And then you've also got what ambulances are now calling their um, ambulances. Ambulances are now calling them jab cabs, booster cruisers or vaxi taxis. That's ambulances. That's off my page too, by the way. So. If you do want to friend me on Facebook, please send me a message and say, hey, I've watched your videos, please accept me. Because I get about 200 Facebook requests every day. And if we haven't got mutual friends, then I'm not going to add you because I don't want to, I don't know who's real anymore. So I hope that I've given you some facts today. Think about what's going on. Think about your own health. And also think about where Musk is going to be working with Trump. Not only is he going to be a technical engineer for the creation of new um, energies, etc. in America, because I want to stop China, but he's also doing interstellar <laughs> creation work. So we need our aliens, the good ones, yes, because there are bad ones. But if we communicate on that higher wavelength with the good ones, we can stop the bad ones coming in here. So then we don't have any intergalactic wars. Because this spiritual war that we've been going through for the past four years, that's enough for now. We need some peace on the planet. So it's time to start raising our vibration, living in love, living in harmony, and most of all, spreading that love and harmony to everybody else on this planet and beyond. So on that note, love yous all. Talk soon.